Astra Bridge. The Astra Bridge is a portable two-lane bridge designed to allow vehicles to cross over roads that are under repair. It's been successfully used in Switzerland, where it lets traffic keep flowing at speeds of up to 60 km per hour while construction workers repair the road underneath. This is great for drivers, construction workers, and nearby residents because all the road work, from tearing up old pavement to laying down fresh asphalt, can be done during the day, meaning no more loud nighttime construction. The bridge was first tested in 2022. Although there were a few challenges, like the entry being too steep for trucks, engineers quickly fixed it by adjusting the slopes to be gentler. At 236 meters long, this impressive bridge is expected to benefit local road crews for many years to come. Electric buses have become a common sight in many major European cities. However, most of these buses are hybrids that switch to diesel or gasoline once their battery runs low. A new experiment in Malaga, Spain, is changing that. Recharge systems have been installed at bus stops. Here's how it works. When the driver brakes in a designated spot and opens the doors, a hatch in the ground opens up. Terminals rise to connect with the bus's current collectors located underneath. In just a few minutes, the battery charges enough to get to the next stop. This same tech will soon be used in streetcars too, with the system already sold in 40 cities. A survey across 10 EU countries looked into how long people spend on their commutes, and it turns out, it's quite a lot. For example, using public transportation can take up to 1 hour and 40 minutes. To make this more bearable, an international company called JC Decaw has come up with creative bus stop designs. In Hungary, they've created an installation that raises awareness about traffic accidents by displaying a torn jacket with a ringing phone inside a clear block, reminding drivers not to use their phones while driving. Some of their bus stops also offer convenient features like charging stations for gadgets, headphone jacks for music, and even an option to order a pizza, which can be delivered in just 15 minutes. The Guardian Wave is perfect for people who prefer not to touch public surfaces, like subway railings or restroom door handles. This contactless traffic light button lets you activate it without touching anything, using an infrared beam sensor. It keeps your hands germ-free. But that's not all. The device is also designed for easy installation. Using Bluetooth, installers can program it by downloading an app, logging in, and adjusting settings. The Guardian Wave is housed in tough plastic so it's protected from vandals, bad weather, and even heavy button pushing. Parakeet. When a section of the sidewalk is blocked off due to construction, there are often signs and fences to guide pedestrians. But what about people who are blind or visually impaired? The World Health Organization says that at least 2.2 billion people globally have some sort of visual impairment. That's where an American company called PSS Innovations comes in. They've developed a device called Parakeet, which can record a 60-second message with warnings or instructions. This message plays automatically when someone approaches. The trigger range can be adjusted, and the volume adapts to surrounding noise levels. Parakeet is easy to attach to traffic cones or other objects, and it's waterproof. Vandal-resistant design makes it durable for long-term use. Ever been late because of a traffic jam caused by road repairs? The NSNW Mobile Crossing System is here to help. It's made up of two long beams that act as temporary barriers on highways. When there's a pothole or crack in the road, the beams automatically move to guide traffic around the problem and into the opposite lane. Of course, workers first set up cones and signs to keep things safe. The creators call it a genius system, and we can see why. It's designed to keep traffic flowing smoothly, even during repairs. First Guard is a new kind of traffic cone that's been making waves in the industry. When folded, it's only 3.8 centimeters thick and weighs just 1.8 kilograms, making it much easier to transport and store than traditional cones. Despite its small size, it's actually more effective than standard cones. 
Lab tests show that its reflectivity is nearly double that of a typical 71 cm cone. Plus, thanks to a smart hinge design, it's also easy to repair. Made from high-density polyethylene, First Guard is perfect for construction workers, emergency services, and police officers. A set of five cones, neatly packed in a branded case, can even fit in the trunk of a car. Crosswalks have been around since the 1940s, but some say they need an update. The British engineering firm Umbrellium agrees. They've created a smart crosswalk that's interactive. It responds to pedestrians, traffic, and even weather. For example, if someone is hurrying across in the rain, the markings glow brighter. If it's easier to cross diagonally, the lines shift to guide people that way. When there's a big crowd, the crosswalk expands. It even creates stop lines for cars. The design is impressive, but it leaves one question. What happens if a driver claims the smart crosswalk caused confusion? TAPCO Vismark, a study conducted in Columbus, Ohio, found that areas with less pedestrian infrastructure tend to have higher rates of pedestrian-related accidents. This shows just how important it is to optimize traffic for safety. One promising solution is the Vismark system, which illuminates crosswalks on roads with up to four lanes, creating clear stop lines for drivers. It can be powered by either the grid or solar panels, and is typically installed at a height of 3.6 to 4.5 meters. The lenses are made from durable polycarbonate, and the system is designed to work year-round, even in extreme temperatures ranging from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius. This technology is developed by TAPCO, a US-based company specializing in traffic safety solutions. Bicycle lanes are usually marked with solid white lines, but not all drivers follow the rules. Some use the bike lane to pass other cars. A German company called Huton has a solution. They produce sturdy plastic blocks that are bolted into the asphalt to protect cyclists. They also install soft rubber bollards that won't damage cars but will make it clear when drivers should turn back. Tests show it's tough to cross these barriers. Even a car going 80 km per hour couldn't do it. Huton is proud of their product and has earned several awards for their innovative design. For over 12 years, Photon Play, a global company, has been working to improve traffic safety. One of their simplest yet most effective solutions is the iCOP radar speed signs. These signs show drivers their speed in real time. Green numbers mean you're driving at a safe speed, while yellow or red numbers tell you to slow down. Powered by solar panels, the top-of-the-line iCOP R1800 M model has a large display measuring 485 by 396 millimeters visible from as far as 550 meters away. According to the company, 80% of drivers slow down when they see the ICOP signs, with average speed reductions between 10 and 20%. Speed enforcement on roads with these signs can increase by up to 30%. Horizon Pickup VWA. These road signs are no fragile ornaments. In fact, they're mounted on a sturdy metal frame with wheels, so a single SUV or pickup truck can easily tow several of these trailers. The LED screens can be raised into position remotely using cables and electric motors, all controlled by a tablet. Thanks to their square shape, about a meter wide on each side, they're highly visible from a distance. With a screen resolution of 48 by 48 pixels and a refresh rate of 1000 Hz, they display clear messages. The creators emphasize that the main advantage of this system is its fast deployment and the added safety for road workers. Drivers are much less likely to speed when they spot a large trailer with a bright red sign ahead. TAPCO has another great product for road safety, the Wrong Way Alert System. It's designed to stop drivers from accidentally driving the wrong way. The system includes radars, cameras, signs, and lighting, placed in hazardous areas. Using AI, 
It can detect wrong-way drivers with 95% accuracy. It sends warnings to the driver and nearby vehicles, and it can alert local law enforcement through the Blinklink system. Red signals make the warnings even more noticeable, helping to prevent accidents before they happen. Smart bumps. Smart speed bumps are coming soon, and they work a little differently than the regular ones. Instead of slowing down every vehicle, these bumps only activate for those speeding. Sensors detect a car's speed, and if it's too fast, a steel plate rises from the bump to give the driver an unpleasant jolt. But drivers who follow the speed limit won't even notice it. Tests have already shown how effective these smart bumps are. So, if you don't want to damage your car's chassis, it's a good idea to respect the speed limit. There are many types of speed bumps out there, and some can even be dangerous. But Sweden has come up with a safer solution called ActiBump. This system uses cameras to monitor driver's speed. If you're speeding, the ActiBump lowers a few centimeters, giving you a slightly uncomfortable ride to discourage speeding. It works best in areas where the speed limit is around 50 km per hour. So far, over 100 million cars have passed over ActiBump without any accidents or major issues. The system is also smart enough to recognize emergency vehicles like ambulances or fire trucks, letting them exceed the speed limit without any problems. We've seen crosswalks that light up, but Hawk technology goes a step further. While the crosswalk lines are painted with regular road paint, the signs and traffic lights are mounted on a system that can be moved by crane trucks. Powered by solar batteries, this system can also include tracking cameras that send images to an operator. The Hawk system is ideal for construction zones or large events where traffic management is needed. You can easily adjust the number of closed lanes with just a push of a button on a remote. According to the manufacturers, Hawk has reduced pedestrian accidents by 69%, an impressive feat for such a simple solution. Swiss roads could generate up to 55 gigawatt hours of electricity per year. That's why the Swiss Federal Roads Office ran a test on the A113 highway, installing photovoltaic panels over a 90 square meter area. The plan is to expand the project to cover 6 kilometers of road and generate up to 2.2 megawatts of power. These solar panels can be easily opened for maintenance or repair, aligning with Switzerland's energy strategy for 2050, which focuses on reducing the country's dependence on non-renewable energy sources. Criminals are always coming up with new tricks, and tracking devices or explosives have become so small that they can be secretly attached underneath a car. Sometimes smugglers will even attach containers of illegal goods to their own vehicles. The Hikvision Under Vehicle Surveillance System helps uncover these schemes. Available in both stationary and mobile versions, the system works by lighting up the underside of a car with bright lamps and scanning for any unusual objects. A high-definition camera captures the results, sending images to an operator's monitor for review. This technology is especially useful at airports, bus stations, and luxury hotels, where security is a top priority. In the Veer Armen Tunnel in Belgium, the German company Phoenix Contact recently upgraded the lighting system. The new system is dynamic, meaning each light adjusts its brightness depending on the weather and traffic conditions. This helps avoid blinding drivers when tunnels are too bright at night. The system includes 50 basic settings and 15 special ones, including some for emergencies. One key feature is its constant light output, which keeps the brightness steady even as the lights get older or dirty. The lighting system is fully integrated with the control systems for all tunnels in one of Belgium's administrative regions. Transpo's brake safe technology is designed to protect motorists in case of a crash. Unlike traditional traffic sign poles, these poles are made to brake at the base if a vehicle hits them. This minimizes damage to the car and keeps the driver and passenger safer. In tests at both 30 km per hour and 102 km per hour, the car was able to slide under the falling sign with only minor damage, like a small dent in the bumper. The manufacturer also notes that it's easy to set the sign back up, 
as long as you understand how to reconnect the coupling in L bracket.